Right, hello everybody and welcome down to Trafford Golf Centre. I'm Fry here. Um, and this is sort of a new little series I want to get going where I'm going to show you an insight into, into my week as a coach basically and what I'm doing um, here at Trafford Golf Centre, what I'm doing with some of my pupils. So hopefully if it's something that you may be doing in your swing, I'll just give you a little snippet of what I've done to help one of the students throughout the week. Um, show you what drill it was we used to um, get them improving whatever the fault was and get them back on the right side also you know little things what if I'm doing anything interesting around the center if there's you know anything going on away from the center i.e. me going to, to play or things like that and just try and keep a bit of a, a weekly journal um, just throughout the the few days just to see what's going on and, and keep you all posted that way hopefully you'll all be learning something um, from the video um, it'll be an insight to what I'm doing and a good way for us all to, to stay in touch obviously I have been up and down with the videos uh, at the back end of the month but I do do another project now which still means I make videos but they just don't go on YouTube um, and that's been taking up a lot of my time um, which is a great thing it keeps me interested and keeps me making lots of coaching content but unfortunately it just meant that I didn't get to do that many videos at the end of the year I have shot another 15 I think in the last week so there's lots of content for the next couple of uh, weeks ready ready to go so that's good but this this thing I think is just going to get me in the spirit of actually getting the camera out every day and just documenting a little bit and, and trying to pass on any little nuggets of information that I find, you know, on my journey to get better, uh, especially as a coach to get better, even as a player, and anything that I think that helps me, if I can pass it on to you, it might be something you know, it might be something that you've never heard of, it might be different things, it might be a podcast, like I listened to some great podcasts this week, so in my, my journey, if you can take from it as well, I think it'll be a good way for us all to to benefit and, and get better at this great game so let's have a look at who we've made better already in the second day of 2019. So this was one of my lessons last night, one of my uh, first lessons back coaching um, in 2019 and what we've got here, is, gent's name is Russell, um, very very good player, he's off um, scratch I think down at Sandy Way and what he was struggling with when he came to me was a, a bit of a hook shot was um, getting a bit of a pull hook going on um, and wasn't a big fan of it when really struggling with the irons and the driver so what we, we worked one lesson before um, New Year just getting him to use his body a little bit more and then we've really worked last night went to town on going to uh, get the, the face being a bit more controlled by the actual release of the body and what I mean by that is if you see this old swing here of his now um, as he goes through it good up to the top generally and what we were seeing through impact now this right knee starts to come towards this yellow line the plane line here club a little bit too steep on the way down hence why he was pulling it because it was going from out to in um, and the face being very very flipped through impact so we see through here very quickly this right hand really wrapping over so depending on timing he'd get some shots where if he got it right it would be okay if he didn't quite get it quick enough he was leaking them out to the right and then if he did it too early he was getting the hooks and like I say this hip right hip and right knee are working out to the right of the target in that direction what we did was practice with a tour striker ball I don't know if you've seen those the ones uh, where it's like a little necklace and then you uh, hold the ball in your forearms and what that gets you to do is use your chest a little bit more and match up your pivot and your rotation with the club face to allow you to release it a bit more with your body and not rely so much on the hands so as we see in this frame here from one frame it's open neutral and then closed very quickly what we saw here and all we did was just chip ball sort of with a nine iron hitting them half swings and three quarter swings what we see with this one now looking at the face the club coming down a lot more on playing there obviously it is only a shorter swing so easier to do that but here now the face in a good position and what we see is the face being very very quiet through impact so it just releasing nice and naturally and if we see these two positions here the body form looks totally different here we see 
the hips clearing more, the chest clearing more in the right hand one as opposed to here in the left hand one what we see. Just put the old and the new image there for you. The uh, the one on the, the left here, the old one, the right hand wrapping over and obviously we see the ball squeak. Uh, being squeezed out to the right there because he didn't manage to flip it in time as we're here turning and just letting the face stay relative uh, square relative to his arc he gets it going out on target and hits some beautiful shots and we see a lot more rotation the club exiting a lot shallower as well more on plane as opposed to this steep exit here because the right hand's been flicky and over dominant throughout that swing there and obviously relying on the timing is always going to be an issue so I'll, uh, I will hit some balls and show you what that was um, just so if you are someone who is getting a bit handsy and a bit flippy this is a great way to get the feeling of the body controlling your club face and get you starting to be a lot more um, neutral with your flights and not relying so much on the hands to time up the release. So literally all, all the drill was was this tour strike ball Hill and um, size 5 foot more pretty much with, on the string and you get it in your forearms normal grip and what we were working on was being the chest the more dominant leading force of the, of the swing so almost like the engine of the golf swing as it were and feeling that that was turning quite a lot and the hands were doing nothing which in turn just allows this club face just to stay relatively square to the arc all the way around obviously you need a good grip for this to start off with here instead of it being flippy, generally if you start to do that you'll see it drop the ball quite a lot so it just gets everything working in unison. You get this chest, like I say, the feeling for us to get the chest as the dominating force when you hit so. You've really got to turn as you're going through it and let the arms actually just catch a free ride on the pivot and the rotation of the rest of your body. Once you do that, you can quiet the face down and see that the shots you produce are very neutral. You're not as thin as that one. But once you get it, just small little cracks we can even if you have to go off the tee to start off with, it's fine, you can just get a bit of confidence. And, uh, really nice strike, straight as an arrow. And for me, I hit balls with this. Well, just feeling that I'm really getting the left hip out of the way and cleared and using my chest to drag my arms through. Get it on the plane. And I should start to see that it's always a pretty neutral ball flight from there. I'm not relying on saving it at the end, like I say. Also, if you want to walk around with it on the course, you'll look really cool, like from a public enemy, something like that. It'll look pretty decent. But I, I do feel a lot of rotation when I use that, so it's really, really good. A great little tip like you see there from, from Russ's video really helps square his face up and, and quiet it down and rely more on just rotation instead of hands to try and save everything. So see if that little nugget can, uh, can help you out there. So a day of playing on the course with this fine gentleman. He's, where's he gone? So down at uh, Dunham, myself and Pete, we've just uh, had our first trip out on the golf course in 2019. Yeah, it was good actually. The, the greens here oh, yeah. at the moment, like considering it's January, are really, really good. Are really good. Really good. And we even hold a few putts, which was uh, surprising <laughs> yeah, to two, ourselves. Two, two putts. Yeah. We, we play 48 holes, so it's a pretty yeah. good ratio for us. Yeah, it's not bad to be fair. We're out at 3 a.m. this morning. Um, we filmed a course sort of teaching vlog on my channel and Pete's first, was it the money match? Yeah, it's like a practice money match. So it's just an example of how they're going to work. Uh, because generally I'm not going to be playing pros. I've learned a lesson uh, not to. I need to challenge people who've just played before, give them a handicap of five, <laughs> and then see how we get on. If you're off of 28, you're off five now. Big money, big money as well. <laughs> Happy days. So make sure you go and check out that series. I think it's going to be a, a really fun series that he's going to be doing. I'm going to head back over to Trafford Centre now, do a little bit more and then wrap this week up for you guys. So keep watching and I'll see you in a little bit. <clears throat> now that's going to be something, isn't it? That will be absolutely amazing. It is something that we've always talked about. That's Rick's uh, 
Instagram there, we've always talked about trying to make a like a charity match, a YouTube, YouTube cup sort of thing. So good on Rick to uh, to actually just get the ball rolling and um, make that event happen. So yeah, excited for that event. Um, I'm back at home now just doing some editing, doing uh, a little bit of this video and another video that we've got here, another coaching video coming out soon. Um, difference between impact and address, what are some of the differences and what you should be looking for? It's a good one, it's uh, one that when I've talked to about it in my lessons, sometimes they're not quite sure what they're actually trying to achieve and one of the common things I will see when I am teaching pupils is that good address position and then coming down into impact they return pretty much to the same spot so they're not using the actual force they generate and the angles they create in the backswing they don't maximize everything they do so make sure you go and check that one out um, just about to pack up head over back to Trafford Tent I've got something I want to show you over there then I will be rounding this video up so um, I'll, I'll end it here but we will show you what's going on at Trafford Centre so Comment down below what you think of this style of video. Like I say, it's just a little bit of a diary and like I uh, was chatting with Finch the other day, it's a, a way of me getting the camera out a little bit more often, getting me in front of the camera, getting me comfortable shooting something every day and hopefully trying to put something out there to you guys that you can learn from, see what I've been up to and like I say, be a bit more engaging with, with you as my, um, my audience and hopefully like I say, you can take something from it and hopefully you can improve your golf because that's the whole reason I make the video. So comment down below, do you like the style of videos? Is there anything you'd like to see from my week as I go through, you know, teaching and playing and different little bits and what we're up to? Um, leave a like on the video as well, that really helps. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and if you do want to come and see me at Trafford Centre, all the info's down below. It'd be great to see you guys. Thanks for watching this first of the, uh, I've not got a title for it as well, so... Think of a title that we can come up with, the prose diaries or whatever it may be. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.